good morning guys um so i'm trying out something new i should probably you know i do this all the time i think yeah i should probably move my finger i can't figure this one out guys hold on yeah so i am trying out something new and that's gonna drive me crazy because <laughs> i keep trying to look at the anyway i do this every single time so i'm trying to try something new um as you guys know that i have not really been filming because i don't enjoy it anymore and um you guys keep asking me to come back and i miss y'all i really really do miss y'all so <sighs> i gotta figure out a way to do things where i'm enjoying myself and you guys get to enjoy my content as well so this is i don't know I haven't I haven't figured it all out and I would never ever usually come on film like this but this is this is kind of therapeutic for me I don't even know if I'm gonna post this but this is kind of therapeutic for me as well um I'm just gonna show you like what my days are like before I get started I am literally still sitting in my bed and <laughs> this shirt guys i'm almost embarrassed to show you but it's just ridiculous this shirt is from when i was in college and gabriel hates it <laughs> because it really needs to go in the trash it has so many holes <laughs> i can't believe i'm showing y'all this shirt but i don't know like i love a thin fabric t-shirt this is the most comfortable t-shirt now mind you i don't wear this out in public i only wear it around the house but gabe is so sick of this shirt i know he wants to set it on fire and if he did i mean could i really be mad at him if he did it looks terrible but yeah okay so i'm going to show parts of my life and um it just it's random bits it's, these videos are not going to be structured that's the beauty of it i think i'll enjoy it more because it's not going to be structured so um just whatever i'm doing and i decide to film that'll be part of it and then there's going to be still making in it too because i know that's what oh, oh look at that. i don't even have to hold it i know a lot of you guys are here for the salt making so there's going to be something business related in it somewhere um sometimes you won't even see me but i'm trying to get used to me being on film um if you know me i'm not a big fan of being in front of the camera ever since day one it's so awkward and then like i have put on a ton of weight so i really don't necessarily like seeing myself on camera i'm just gonna keep it real you know i'm trying to keep these videos that's kind of the, the reason why i want to do this i'm trying to keep these videos raw and real and so we may talk about things that are you know you know, it's just things that I normally would not talk about, but I want to get used to seeing myself as I am, you know, with the extra padding, um, and just get used to seeing myself on film this way, because at the end of the day, it's me, you know, um, this is how I look. So love who you are in all states. And like, I would never come on film with a bonnet on my head <laughs> this morning. I just had my tea. And I haven't got out of bed and I haven't done my hair. And normally on the weekends, I, I'm not going to do makeup or anything like that. I'll just sometimes just get out of bed. Matter of fact, I told you guys in my last video, I was going to show you my hair. So I can't believe I'm about to do this. But this is the way <laughs> my hair looks. It's a hot mess. That's what I said. I'm going to just kind of show you guys everything um not everything but i told a lot of you i cut my hair it looks crazy um i have micro locks now but it looks crazy because whenever i take my bonnet off it's smushed and it's like dry so we'll get to the next part where i actually try to fix it and then we're gonna head downstairs and do some soap stuff i got some stuff i want to talk about with my soap stuff i'll meet you downstairs so I don't know how people do this vlogging stuff. I really don't. Um, this is you guys right here. No. But anyway, um, I kind of wanted to show you this. It's such a beautiful day out here. Let's open this window. I should move my finger. But look how glorious it is outside today.
<laughs> you hear the sound of people um, doing, I don't know, carpentry. <laughs> Somebody's cutting wood or something out here, but it's just so beautiful and sunny. Oh my gosh, I am so ready for spring. I hope my neighbor doesn't look up and think I'm recording her because I'm not. She's a little bit cray cray. <laughs> I just love, I love that. So, I don't, oh, close that. I don't want to be the person that comes in and I'm, I'm really, okay, that's terrible. Let's turn you this way. I'm really not going to um, show you brushing my teeth because I don't know, I see people do vlogs where they're brushing their teeth. I'm like, girl, I might want to see you brush your teeth. But I didn't want to bring you in here because I'm about to brush my teeth and wash my face and then we'll do something to my hair and then we'll go downstairs. So it is one of these days I'm gonna learn where I'm supposed to look on this camera. I keep, I don't know, anyway. I probably won't, I've been doing this for eight years and still can't figure it out. So more than likely I won't, oh yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and brush my teeth and then we'll be back so I can look halfway decent, okay? Okay, so I really don't even know if this really is a thing. We're just testing it out. So I just washed my face. And I'm going to put some moisturizer on it because my face gets really, really dry. I only use my soap on my face. I have a bar of, um, what's that stinking soap called? Pine tar. Um, <laughs> it doesn't stink once it gets older, but as you see, like, yeah, I need to moisturize. But this is just rose water and aloe vera juice that I like to spread my face in. This is just the bottle that I have that's old but I actually do refill it with actual rose water so I use that on my face and my hair so I just kind of pat things in and this is not like a beauty routine or anything like this this is just me getting ready to get my day started um I am I the only person that take like my rings off when I moisturize my face because I cannot stand like lotion and stuff kind of intertwining the band of my rings like these flat ones that doesn't really bother me but that ring I, I cannot stand lotion wrapped all in it so I don't know like my skin is weird and if you guys are wondering oops I don't know if you can see that but what that spot is on my nose let me tell y'all something so I decided to go okay we're gonna be bouncing all over the place I have the weirdest nails this nail here I don't know where the camera is at right okay I don't look at them cuticles but this nail here it grows bent in and so the longer it gets it bends it has a harder bit and then it just breaks every single freaking time right there and it's like you see how far down it is in my skin so i can't really cut it yet but i'm just so afraid that it's going to catch something and rip and what i was saying like as i decided to get older i decided to get eczema on my eyelids and on the sides of my eyes what in the hell of it is going on so i just mix some cortisone and some exoderm with my moisturizer and it keeps it at bay so that's what we're gonna do um yeah so this is kind of be like a vlogging style type video but I'm not a vlogger honey that's too much work I don't know how y'all do it kudos to y'all who do it on a regular because that's a lot of work so it's just really gonna be clips of me doing whatever I do at that moment in life and like I said as far as doing like traditional soul making videos Maybe one day I'll get back to that, but I just don't enjoy myself. I really don't enjoy myself anymore. So I figure I just kind of mix things up and I think that's more interesting this way. So I'm going to go ahead and put that moisturizer on his face. Nothing fancy. I cannot believe, <laughs> I cannot believe I'm doing this. But you know what? Like I said, this is more for me than it is for y'all. I just figured I'd share because I am just trying self-love. Because as you get older, um, your body changes or, no, it does change. But in my case, as far as the weight gain, it changed because I have a job where I sit 10 hours a day. And I'm not very active because when I get off of work, I come home and I work on my business and I sit. And then because I've been having problems with my knees, you see me looking over here, I'm looking in the mirror. Um, 
it's just a, a whole lot of sitting, not a whole lot of activity. So I am trying to get back to there. So these videos really are for me, just kind of getting used to seeing me as who I am. You know, I'm not who I was. I'm who I am right now. So I need to get comfortable with seeing this girl. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, this is not like a low self-esteem <laughs> video or anything like this, but like I said, I just don't like to see myself. I never like to see myself on camera, even when I was much smaller, but we need to change that. You know what I mean? Because a lot of you have been rocking with me for years and some of you don't even know what I look like. And that's crazy. Um, there's a few videos with my face in it, but not a whole lot. So I'm, I'm trying to get used to that. This right here. Okay. So I told you guys for, you know, those, you know, I have micro locks and uh, it's kind of hard to explain what micro locks are. That's another video. But this right here is clove water. It's aloe vera juice, rose water, and clove water. This is what I put on my hair every day. And that's it. I don't really put oil or anything like that on my hair. Um, I do if my scalp gets really dry. I cannot stand the flaky our scalp. I have, I don't know, my body just, oh. <laughs> touch them all over the place so that spot on my nose I don't know how well you guys can see it but I am really allergic to oranges so I decided I hadn't had an orange in probably over 15 years it's probably been longer than that and I decided you know what maybe I have grown out of my allergies I'm gonna have an orange and I did and uh, I found out very quickly I'm so allergic to oranges I had um I had a, a wedge, an orange wedge, and it didn't do anything for like three days. I was like, oh, good. So it's okay. Give me a whole orange. She's like, you sure? I was like, yeah. Girl. <laughs> it was like maybe a couple of days later, I was on the phone with my mom, and I was like, when did I start getting acne on my nose? And it was like itching really bad. Then it started burning. I was like, girl, gotta go. It wasn't acting. <laughs> I break out in blisters when I eat oranges. So, um, yeah, that was a fail. But um, I was going to say something else about, oh, not this. Me and my, I don't know if that's an allergy. Y'all tell me if that's an allergy. But Jamaican black castor oil, I bought the stuff many, many moons ago because everybody was saying how great it is for your hair. And I got it and I was just like, you know, I'm going to try this. I don't know why I keep looking at y'all. I could just use my mirror. Um, <laughs> I was like, I could just try this. And I did. And dandruff is not something like a flaky scalp is not something I ever really deal with. But I decided to put that stuff in my hair. It gave me the worst clumpiest dandruff I've ever seen. And I was just like thoroughly freaked out because... That stuff is like a nightmare to try to get rid of. And then that was many moons ago. So I forgot why I stopped using it. And then when I got my locks. Um, one of these lock people. <laughs> the channels. They were saying that they use black African. Uh, I mean black Jamaican castor oil in their hair too. And I was just like you know I'm going to try it again. I can't remember why I stopped using it. I did. Flakes it. Oh it was terrible. So, I don't know if that's an allergy or what that is, but my scalp does not like that stuff. And then I just found with the rose water and clove water and all of that stuff. I don't need to do any of that. So, this is like just a style I like to put my hair in just to keep my hair on my face when I'm doing stuff. I really, you guys know I was all about the bun life. Like severe bun life. I was a straight up bun head for many years. But I don't have enough hair to put in a bun. I mean, I do. But it doesn't really stay up. And it just looks crazy because it all falls down in the back. Now, I did cut my hair. But I still got a little bit of length. You know, like, black people hair is kind of like magic. If you know, you know. You know, so it looks much shorter than it actually is. But it just draws up. So, um, ooh, I'm so sorry about that. I don't even know where that came from. Yeah, so I'm just... Anyway, this is not a hair tutorial. I'm, I don't know. I'm just getting up. I really feel like I'm a real blogger. I'm talking about hair and all of them things. So, a lot of you have. I am going to say that. <laughs> I just said I wasn't going to talk about it. Then I said I am. A lot of you have asked me about my brows when I do have them on. So, let's talk about my eyebrows. My <laughs> so, about, probably like 
in the early twenty uh two early twenties, Carol, you wouldn't even uh even have thought the early two thousands, I decided I didn't decide anything. In the early 2000s, my brows decided they no longer wanted to be a part of my face. So they gradually started leaving. And I was like, um, can we talk about this? And they just ignored me. Like, I emailed them. I texted them. I was just like, you know, how you just go break up with me like that? Like, can, can you explain what I did wrong? They have not talked to me since the day they left. I don't know where they went. So... <laughs> But I do feel them in, and I'm pretty good at it. At least I think so. And you guys keep asking me about my brow tutorial. So one day I'll do it, but I'm not going to put on brows today because I'm literally not going anywhere. All right. So now we're actually going to go downstairs. Okay. So you know what? I just came down here and did a whole intro of all this stuff I was doing. I was talking about me making it to the second level of my house. And then oh, if you guys watch my interview with Don Organics, George, the sweetest person ever. Um, he was telling you guys I have fur babies. So since I'm on this, it always takes, I'm going to show you in a minute. Hold on, girl. It takes me time to get down to the levels of my house. I'll probably be down here for like 30 minutes before I make down the basement. So I do want to show you my little fur babies. You guys see, she's my little troublemaker. Say hello, monkey moon. Claire Paul. Claire. Claire. Hi. Hello. Okay. <laughs> You're really close. Guys, I don't know. I'm like a pile person. I'm always making piles. My mom, she said it drives her crazy. Piles of coats. These are actually going to be donated. But this little girl, Moofish. Moofish. Okay. I call her many names. Hi, girl. So that's Clara. She goes by Monks, Monks Moodoodle, Moofish, Moo Moo. Anything I get the hell out of here. Stop doing that. Those are her names. Um, and then here's my boy right here. Oh, Clara's favorite things in life are, we call them flat cat because she literally ripped all the stuffing out of it. And then string. I gave her this string off of a, I don't even know what, but these are her most precious assets in life. Flat cat. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> and then there's this guy right here. He's the newest addition to our family. Say hi, Chachach. His name is Micho. But I call him Chach or Chacho. Say hi, boy. He is massive. He weighs like 600 pounds, I swear. <laughs> he likes to sleep under the table. But he is a big, gigantic, gentle giant. There he is. Hi, Chacho. Bye-bye. And he wants nothing to do with me. Okay, so I have one more for a baby to show you. So there's this guy. <laughs> He's always super excited about everything. And Gabriel... Has like 500 blankets on the couch for him. Hello, doodly do. This is my Duke. Say hi, Duke Dukes. Hi, hi, boy. Hello. <laughs> yeah, he's he's very excitable. Hi, my guy. How are you? Yeah, he's our tiny little men pin who think he's a full blown Doberman. Yeah, hello. Uh oh, we got shock. All right, everybody's seeing you. Now we got to go downstairs. <laughs> this vlogger's life is not for me. <laughs> so I finally made it down to the, the studio where the magic happens. And it is a whole hot mess down here. I can't even tell y'all how bad it looks. But there's a lot going on. So, got the apron on. We are ready. I just got a package right before I came down here. I have to show you my fur babies from Fed Eggs. FedEx and it's from well it's not from FedEx they just brought it it's from the flaming candle and I don't even know what I ordered so let's see let's see what we got <sighs> I really should have brought down a hair tie because like I cannot oh I just can't stand hair on the back of my neck so we're gonna have to figure out something y'all gonna see me with a baby bun because we gonna make it happen because I cannot deal and I'd be feeling like something is caught on the back of my neck. Can't be having that. So let's see. What did we order? Kenny, what did you order? I don't even remember. So let's move the ass. I think it was a. I don't know. I'm not even going to pretend like I know because I don't. I feel like it was a fragrance that I needed to replace. Oh, the peanuts. Um, 
Um, nope. No. Oh, oh no. Let me stop trying to guess. Just open a darn package, you know. Make sure there's nothing else in here. And I could really just look at the packing slip. I don't know why I just got to act so difficult. Like, I'm brand new. And I've never had this business or ran it a day in my life. So. What did we get? You got some. Oh. So, I had this fragrance called Cotton Amber. It just gave me all the feels. I loved it so much. And. I might still have some. I don't know. That's another thing. When I'm up upstairs. I just order stuff. And I got to stop doing that. Even, and then I'll come down here and realize that I have it. I'm like, girl, what's wrong with you? So. Oh, so I ordered a couple of samples. And I ordered the cotton amber and some. A base. That's what I was. All right. So let's see what, what goodies we have here. So I have been rocking with the flaming candle for a very long time. And I just, I think I told you guys that before. I love them. Oops, I'm dropping stuff. I love them so much. So this is, I'm going to try my hand on something new. I got some Reed Diffuser base. I was going to make my own, but I was like, you know what? Why? We could just buy it. So that's what I did. Um, And then I got some cotton amber. It smells so good. Oh, I just, okay. Yes, yeah, so I did make a soap out of this like two years ago and I loved it. And I made it for the winter. It's just. It's hard to explain. But just know it is so delicious. It smells really good. It's clean. And it's like this. This is a very hard fragrance to describe. But just know it's love in a bottle. And then what's this? Oh I got some. What is this? Chanel. Blue de Chanel type. I had this and I just needed to restock this. I don't know why. What size is this? Four ounces? Oh, the cutest little bottle ever. Yeah, yes. So I need to buy a pound of this because it smells amazing and I run out of this a lot. I just couldn't remember. I can never remember. I gotta remember if this is what I needed. So I decided to try this stress relief. This is, is this a dupe? No, but everybody said it smelled good. I need to get more men fragrances because that's something I don't have a lot of. It's nice, but you, oh, it smells like um my uh, one of my most favorite. I think it's a dupe for Bath and Body Works um, eucalyptus. <laughs> I'm always calling some my favorite, and then I can't remember what it's called. Eucalyptus something, you know? It's there. Um, anyway, it is the dupe, and this smells. I had it before from, I think, Nature's Garden, and it didn't smell anything like the original, but this one? Yeah, it does. So, ooh, that smells identical. If I can think of it, I'll put it on the screen somewhere. And then I wanted to try this Dirty. This is a Lush dupe. And then she sent me a lavender vetiver. Thank you so much. Let's smell the lavender vetiver. I feel like I had this before. I've had a, most all of their fragrances. Oh. I don't think I've... Yeah, I have. Have I had this? It was lavender something. Yeah. But it smells nice. And let's smell dirty. Oh. Um, let's try it again. It's different. It is so different. When I first, ugh, I don't know if I like this. It is so different, but that's lush for you. Lush is so different. It smells almost like dirt and mint. That's the best way I can describe it. Yeah, it's like dirt and mint. And it's, it's, it's very aromatic, but that's what we got. So, um, <sighs> I don't know. I was telling you guys, I got to take these pigtails out. I look like I'm a 45-year-old woman trying to look like a 5-year-old. It's not working. So, I just really need a hair tie. I don't even know, like, where my hair ties are. I don't know. But, oh, what are you doing with your life, girl? See, I have to get used to my hair being 
like this. I still have it. I've had my hair locked for, let's talk about that. And I will wash my hands before I touch anything. So don't buy saying nothing. Um, I've had my hair locked since December. I had it previously locked two months prior. And then me and my mom took it out like crazy ladies and redid it because, um, I think I told you guys in my last video, my grids were all messed up. It's a whole story about this hairstyle, but yeah, we took it out. It took like 17 hours to redo. Mm -hmm. And, um, here we are. So I'm still playing around with styles and what works best because the shrinkage, like I told you guys, like black people's hair is very magical. <laughs> so, um, the shrinkage it gets shorter than this but anyway so i just try to find styles that suit my round egg-shaped face okay so what i was talking about i was curating some mother's day boxes and i decided that i wanted to do melt and pour instead of cold process okay let's take that back i was going to do cold process then i was like oh i can do some really cute melt and pour soaps and i Melt and pour is just not my bag. I don't love melt and pour. No, it is. It's great. Because I told you guys, Brambleberry's melt and pour base is just, it's like cold process. They have a really good melt and pour base. But as far as when I say it's not my bag, it's because I'm a cold process soap maker and I know how to manipulate cold process soap and make it do things that I wanted to do um, for, for me. Melt and pour just takes the shapes of whatever you pour it into or, you know, things like that. Um, you can do swirls and all that, but it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So, I got some soap sitting over here. I'm still undecided. I think that I'm just going to go ahead and make, I don't know where nothing's at. I know this is just super random, but... I have some notes and pour sitting over there and then I have four boxes that I were okay let's refresh can eat refresh I have four boxes that I was going to release for Mother's Day and I worked really hard putting these boxes together and thinking what I wanted to do and then when I got to the soap portion and decided for whatever reason I wanted to do something fun and do notes and pour that's when I lost my enthusiasm and I was just like I don't even know if I want to do this now so my um i have a lavender chamomile now i had some lavender lemon soap sitting off to the side that i made just randomly made and they're a smaller soap and i felt like they would fit perfect in the box so um the lavender chamomile box will have a lavender and lemon essential oil soap which still fits in there nicely and that's kind of an upgrade because you're getting essential oil soap um, so that one's done and there are small quantities. I didn't want to make a lot and I need to get my butt in gear because, um, like Mother's Day is literally around the corner. So I need to, um, figure that one out. Yeah, I don't know. Let me stop. Just let me stop. So one of them that I was telling you about, well, I had one sitting out and it actually sunk back down in the mold. But this is one that I was going to have go in the box. I can't. I won't be able to get these out. But anyway. Um, I just don't. I don't know. I guess because it's not what I normally do. That's why I'm not in love with them. I mean, are they cute? Are they cute, y'all? Are these cute? I don't know. <laughs> so that's why. About. Ooh, let's not look over there. It's a hot mess. So. <laughs> Because how I roll, like when I'm making soap, I just pull a lot, like a lot of my ingredients and everything. And I just sit it over there. And then I'll just, instead of running back and forth, because like I have a problem with knees, so I have to make my trips few and far in between. So I just sit all of my colors and everything over in the corner and just keep digging out what I want. So it's a mess over there. But yeah, I don't know. I'll be back. Okay, so... I said I wasn't going to show you, but I am. So this is what I got going on. It, Like I said, it's like a hot mess. 
Um, I had, I was piping a, a soap. I was about to say popping, piping a flower. I was piping a soap and I had extra green. So you can never need, uh, not have enough leaves. So I just piped a bunch of leaves. But this, this is what I was talking about. Like, I just kind of leave what I'm using over there. So I'm not constantly running back and forth. I just had a lot of projects going on. This is from like three different soaps over here. So we're going to clean that up. I think I'll do a time lapse, I guess. Let's see if you guys enjoy that kind of stuff, you know? So I just remembered, I don't know what kind of business owner I am <laughs> because I just remembered that I have like um, four or five soaps sitting over in my steamer trunk. I put them in my steamer trunk to just let them hang out, you know, until I get ready to cut them. I have five soaps over there. Plus, I need to make a thought soap for um, an order of mine. So like my salt soaks they're really easy for me to make and i if I have a new release i'll make a bunch of one time but if they're slow to sell or whatever the case may be then i'll just make them to order because they're really simple to make so i have to do that um what is in this bottle if you guys are asking it's just um vinegar vinegar water and a little bit of dish soup i like to make my own cleaning um, supplies because I don't want to be spraying like a bunch of toxic stuff around. Um, especially not buying my soaps and things like that. Vinegar is very good at cleaning things. Gabriel hates the smell of it, but it does the trick. So, um, yeah, let me get those soaps out and I pray to the Lord God above that I can cut them because one, <sighs> let me go grab them. Okay, so, yeah, I made three soaps last weekend. I need my tripod, but this will do. I made three soaps last weekend, and I just put them in my steamer trunk because that's where all my soaps go when I'm done making them. But this was an ombre one here. I love this one. <laughs> this is one I'm kind of concerned about cutting because um, ombres. Um in order to lighten them for me you well i i like to say i because people love to dispute what i say i'm talking about my experience i don't know about yours but um yeah for me you know i use 
titanium dioxide to lighten it. And the more TV you use, the quicker it's set up for my recipe. So um, I just need to cut this one. So I'm going to take these out the more. I'm not going to cut them today. Um, but I just got to get these cut because I totally forgot. I really did forget that I made them. That's crazy. And especially like soaps that have TD in them, I don't let them sit this long. I try to cut them the next day, but I forgot. So there's that. So I'm going to take, for those of you who don't know, read in these molds. I'm just going to hold it like this because it's unmolding itself right now. It'll probably fall and hit the counter, but that's fine. It's not very high up. Yeah, see? These are my most from Custom Craft Tools. <laughs> I love these. Oh, okay. So, it's been doing good. I'm glad I left the steamer trunk shut because um, it kept things kind of moisturized in there. <laughs> so, I think I'll be able to cut this one just fine. So, yeah. That unloaded nicely, and I love those colors. Yeah, see this? This is just coming off so great. So great. So great. That just really unloaded itself. I didn't even do anything. You can see. So that's that right there. And then, I am trying. I'm, I'm going to try my hand again at Reels and TikTok. That stuff. Editing down videos to a couple of seconds is difficult for me. So, I'm going to try it again and see how that works. Where's all my paper towel? No clue. Um, that's crazy. I have no clue where all my paper towel is at. I need to be able to set this soap over there so it can dry. Let me find some. Oh, there's some. Okay. So, let's keep it tight. And after this, I think, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to make, I probably just do the salt soak as a reel um, or something like that. And then that'll be it for this video because this is an introductory video. Like, we're not doing a whole lot of stuff. We're just kind of getting a feel of things, how we're going to do things. So I just like to take my finger. I know you guys can't see because I got you so low. But I take my finger and put it on the, this right here. And then I push my soap over with my hand. And then it releases itself like that. So, yeah. There she is in all her beautifulness. I don't even know what she is. Um, I have to look <laughs> and see. I keep like a little, I don't know, a notebook full of all of my stuff that I make. Or I'll put it on my clear board over there. And then this is an impression mat soap. I haven't done one of those in a while. I'll show you the top of her in a second. I freaking drop these wing nuts every single time and it drives me crazy. All right. That's why I try to stand close. This, <laughs> I know this filming is hella obnoxious because like you, you can really only see. Like my head's cut off better okay so um this is she that's the top of her isn't she lovely so go ahead and get her unloaded and then that's gonna be it because guys ah, my back is starting to hurt i need to sit down <laughs> and um like i said it's just an introductory um first video of how we're gonna do this vlogging type thing like i said there will be soap making and all that stuff but not in this video boo not in this video I am going to try to figure out what I plan to do for these Mother's Day boxes because either you're going to do them or you're not either way they're going to my shop Like, there's no, they're going to my shop and they're going to go to my craft fairs because I signed up for a ridiculous amount of craft fairs this year um so they're going to get sold and they're so cute, oh my gosh they're so cute they have bath bombs and salt soaks and soap I'm going to put one more element. I haven't decided what the element is yet. So, yeah. 
yeah these are unloading so nicely oh that smells hella good that is brambleberries peony and peony peony something <laughs> what is it i don't know it was one of their collections but it smells so purty so perts Okay, I'm trying to. All right, I'll probably flip this one over. There we go. Came right off. Okay, but that smells hella good. I've been saving that fragrance until I made a soap with some flowers on it. I mean, how can you make a peony in? <laughs> it's like peony. I don't know. I want to say rose, but I don't think that's what it was. The bottle is around here somewhere. I wrote it down. Pink peony. Anyway, <laughs> I can't see that far, but yeah, that's what it is. So, girl, what are you doing? Like, act like you know. So, <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to pull the bottom of this thing off. Like, I don't know how to unroll these. What is wrong with you, girl? So, yeah, these soaps are still actually really soft for them to have been sitting in the steamer trunk for like since last. Saturday? Today is Saturday? So, yeah. I mean, but that's a good thing because nobody wants stuff hardening up and I mean, you can't cut it. And you just ruin all your hard work. That would be terrible, wouldn't it be? So, um, I'm going to take the impression. Ooh, that's kind of mush that one. Take the impression out of I'll turn around so you guys can see. Mm, she's so gorgeous and I know you guys going to ask where I got these impression mats from um, Amazon Amazon? yeah I was going to say AliExpress I don't even shop on AliExpress I don't know why I bought a lot of y'all like that <laughs> um, <laughs> so it came from Amazon and it's basically the same ones that everybody has knit and specia so Ooh, that's so pretty I love this. Now, see, this is what I should have did for Mother's Day, but, you know, sometimes I got to think of this stuff, and when I think of it, it'd be too late. It'd be late for the party. This smells hella pretty, though. That I must say. So, we're going to take her and sit her off over there. Ugh. Pretty. And then we have one more. And then I'm out of here. Because I got stuff to do. But it was so fun hanging out with you guys. I thought this was going to be hella awkward. I mean, it is hella awkward. <laughs> it really is. But um, it's actually fun. I enjoy it. And I hope you guys enjoy it. So if you do enjoy this video. um, Yeah, okay. So if you do enjoy this video leave me <laughs> this is gonna be so random leave me a duck emoji just go on your phone um no let's just do an apple let's keep things simple because i know even if you did it on your computer like you know your emoticons or whatever they're called on your computer they do have apples so leave a apple emoji let me know you like this type of video like i said it's not always different i know but just bear with me guys it's gonna be fun I think, <laughs> I hope. So, <laughs> yeah, just bear with me. We are going to um, get better at this. This is day one. This is day one style of vlogging, entrepreneurs, um, soap life type video. Oh, I didn't even show you guys this while I'm running my jibs. So, this is her. You know what? I just, I have not done a peach. Just, I don't really do basic like apples and peaches by themselves. It's always something mixed and exotic. Um, so I was like, I just need a peach, but I need a really good peach because all peaches are not equal peach fragrances. So this fragrance is from the flaming candle. Like I said, I just love the flaming candle. Um, no, no, no. Sorry. This is not me lied. This is from Aztec. I love Aztec as well. Um, this is fresh peach and it smells it's a good peach it really really is a good peach so there's salt on this it's all falling off but that's she which i knew a lot of the salt was gonna fall off so yeah let's turn her on the side get her unloaded these molds 
I don't think I said that, if you're wondering. Custom craft tools, my booze, my loves, my hearts. They make amazing molds. And they just came out with some dope, super dope silicone uh, mold with silicone liners. They're all sold out <laughs> just that fast. So congrats to you all. And they had some mystery boxes. And I was about to be, I am trying to do better and stop buying stuff I don't need. I was seriously about to buy a mystery box. I'm like, girl, if you buy one more mold, I will punch you myself. So I didn't. I left it for the people who actually need it. Um, I do need more molds, but I don't need like the ones I already have. I need bigger ones, longer ones. So I will be talking to Alex and Alex about that. So, ooh. yeah. So, yeah, like I said, if you guys enjoyed this st style of video, um, hanging out with me, seeing my face, um, makeup free, <laughs> then uh, leave me an apple emoji. Let me know. And um, if you watch no TV, I don't know how that goes because I've never watched YouTube on <laughs> on television like these fancy TVs because I don't watch TV. So I don't know how that goes. But if you can leave an emoji or something like that or just let me know you here, just just, you know what, just physically say, hey, girl. <laughs> but I'm glad you guys are here. Like I said, I want to be around you guys more. I do. I do. I do. I do. So, yeah. So this ain't going to be no fancy editing, honey. This is just going to be clips. Like mush together. That's what they're gonna be. So that's it. Alright guys. Bye.